You. Yeah. You. Do you have abdominal pains, nausea, hunger, dizziness, or fatigue? Well, if you do, you may have an overly large tapeworm in your intestines, appendix, or pancreas. Hi, I'm Kaylee Gee, and I'm here to tell you about the newest medicine designed to combat that annoying parasite in your stomach. But first, you need to know just what a tapeworm is. A tapeworm is a large parasitic flatworm. It has many teeth or suckers to attach to the intestine wall and then absorbs nutrients through its surface area and the attached area. However, they only show mild inflammation at the site at which it is attached. In severe cases, they may migrate to other parts of the body, including the brain, and affect them. Now, we go over to our doctor on the spot for a special report. So, how do you diagnose a tapeworm? So, let's just say that the person does have symptoms. So, typically, I would be suspect. So, either they have the nausea, or they're feeling bloated, and actually, oftentimes in Honduras, they actually said that they felt they had the parasite because they could eat a lot and still not gain weight. Mm. So if you were in the United States and you were to actually get a diagnosis, you actually have to do blood tests. And just finding the tapeworm in the stool, you know, is not enough. So you actually have to have... Uh, the antibody or the antibody to the tapeworm, and the tapeworm's name is Tania solium, T-A-E-N-I-A-S-O-L-I-U-M. Okay. U-M. Okay. So when you went to Honduras, did people know that they had tapeworms? Actually, they did. In fact, most people actually were aware of the symptoms. And even if they did not have symptoms, they actually were proactively asking for the medicine. Because they actually understand, in, you know, it's not really embarrassing to have tapeworm. I think if you were in the United States and you were, had a case of tapeworm, you'd be pretty embarrassed because you'd be wondering where you got it, how you could have gotten it. And that's because in Honduras and in the underdeveloped countries, they don't have a sanitation system. There's no such thing as sewers. There's no such thing as sinks or toilets. And, you know, they don't have running water. So oftentimes they don't bathe. They're not clean, but they can't help it. And so, you know, they are only trying to take what they can do, and that's taking medicine. So if you have a tapeworm, how do you treat it? If you have a tapeworm, typically they don't have too many symptoms. You can actually use mabendazole or albendazole. And one of the trade names is Burmox. And it's a chewable tablet. And if you felt that one member in the house actually, you know, has the parasite, then you treat the entire house. So the whole family has to chew a tablet. And usually the absorption is fine whether you eat or you don't eat. And there's very few side effects with it. Uh, sometimes people will have the nausea, vomiting, diarrhea as a side effect, but that's really uncommon. If you actually have to have uh, treatment for more than several days because it's affected different organs in your body, then we have to start taking blood counts to make sure that hasn't affected the white count or the red count or the platelet count. count. Now, I'm sure people out there don't want to get a tapeworm. How can you prevent getting a tapeworm? Well, actually, that's a funny uh, question that you should ask because when I was on this medical brigade, mm -hmm. they also had a section called the water brigade. And so they're actually going out to the communities, separate, you know, stu groups of students who go and educate the community, the families, about boiling the water. In the United States, we don't have this problem, like I said, because we have, you know, animals are raised and they're found to not have the tapeworm, and that's how it can be sold. But in Honduras, it's just a matter of boiling the water. So, Dr. Abrams, what's the prognosis of the tapeworm? Uh, the prognosis of the tapeworm is actually very good. 
And like I said, most people are not even aware sometimes that they have it. And if they have symptoms, there's good medicine to take care of it. Mm -hmm. So they can cure themselves of it. But the other thing about the tapeworm, which is different from other bacteria that can infect your colon or your intestines, this particular worm does not actually harm you in the sense that it will not actually cause you to have inflammation. It does not cause you to have bloody diarrhea. In fact, like I said, because it's a parasite, it wants to live in you, and so it wants to keep you healthy enough so it can live. And so typically, the patients don't really lose weight. They just eat more, and that feeds the tapeworm and feeds the host, the human person. And so it's a very benign, it's not malignant, um, not as harmful as other bacteria that can invade you and cause you to die, like E. coli or other viruses. Thank you, Dr. Abrams, for that information. I'm sure all the viewers out there will appreciate the knowledge you shared with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, do you think you have a tapeworm? Do you know you have a tapeworm? Well, if you do, I've got just the cure for you. I present to you Albendazole! This amazing tapeworm killer, or a tenuous side, will get rid of any tapeworm that can infect humans. It works on beef tapeworm, pork tapeworm, fish tapeworm, dog tapeworm, cat tapeworm, rodent tapeworm, and dwarf tapeworm. It's amazing! Don't believe me? Ask some of our satisfied patients! I used albendazole, and wow! My tapeworm was gone after only five months! If I ever get another one, I'll know which medicine to use. Uh, uh, I use the, the medicine, the, the albe, uh, albendi, albendazole, the albendazole, and the worm, the worm was gone. It, it was gone. And I, I have ten grandchildren. Ten grand, and each grandchild has a dog and, and a cat. Each grandchild has a dog Someone and a cat. Someone get the old lady off the set, a please. Dog and a Thank you. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. Real testimonies from real people. Your glasses. What? Your glasses. Glasses? What? Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> you didn't see these. Great, um, but I know what you are thinking right now. How much is it? Can I really afford this? Normal medicines are so expensive. Well, I have a treat for you. You can get albendazole by calling your nearest doctor at the number on the bottom of the screen. 1-800-NO-WORMS. See if albendazole is right for you. If you have a tapeworm, call now! Get rid of tapeworms. Use albendazole. Warning, this product does not guarantee a tapeworm-free life. Tapeworm segments may stay in the body for up to five months. Please consult your doctor before using albendazole. Women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant should be wary of this product. If you have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or a history of heart problems, do not take albendazole. Albendazole is not responsible for any side effects or injuries acquired from using this product. If you develop brain lesions, brain tumors, or have seizures, you may have an overly large tapeworm in your brain. Please consult your doctor. Albendazole, the best tennis diet around.